Hello and welcome to the Scrabble channel and today I'd like to show you my new complete $600 gaming PC setup designed for League of Legends. If you clicked on this video looking for a value gaming setup featuring staple gaming peripherals such as a mechanical keyboard, comfortable headset, competitive gaming mouse, budget 1080p monitor, high quality wrist rest, and one of the most affordable brand new gaming PCs you can build on top with a high performance Wi-Fi adapter so that you can become the next Tyler One for $600, then you're in the right place. This setup was specifically designed for League of Legends all the way from that super plushy wrist rest down to the super budget gaming PC featured in this video. Being the second most popular game to stream on Twitch, I believe this game deserves its own PC gaming setup video. And you know, I've already done a Fortnite themed one here for 800 bucks if you wanna check that out. If you like seeing full blown PC gaming setups like this, then consider subscribing to the Scatterbolt YouTube channel. And if you wanna know when the next video uploads faster than a Bronze 5 forfeiting a ranked game, then enable channel notifications, follow me on Twitter, or join the Scatterbolt Discord server for instant video uploads. League of Legends, Fortnite, PUBG, you name it, the demand for creating more videos and exciting content on YouTube is growing. And the first barrier many of you guys may come across when wanting to make your first video is what video editing software to use. For that first work of art, I recommend checking out Filmora. Filmora is a free video editing software you can download now, which includes many premium features similar to what you'd find, say, in paid high-end programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Some of those features include being able to export in 4K for you guys working with high-resolution gameplay or 60 frames per second for smoother gameplay videos, quick transitions moving from clip to clip, as well as a full-blown Filmora-supported graphics that you can implement into your video. If you want to start your YouTube journey, then Filmora from Wondershare has you covered. Check the link at the top of the description. Starting with our $600 PC gaming setup, let's talk about the keyboard, the Cooler Master CK552. I'm putting all the money right now into this mechanical gaming keyboard because throughout my years of playing League of Legends in high school, I can assure you that having that mechanical feedback for quickly casting those abilities or attacks is so worth it. That's why the CK552 here features Cherry MX Red switches, which is highly regarded by many to be the best mechanical switch for PC gaming in general, including myself, due to its light linear response. Making it great not only just for League, but also for all other PC games like Fortnite, CSGO, PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege, you name it. This keyboard is priced at $80 and from what I've tested is a solid deal. If you looked harder on Amazon, you could probably find better deals on other mechanical gaming keyboards like the $70 Cougar Puri TKL. However, the CK552 is the cheapest keyboard Cooler Master offers with real Cherry MX mechanical switches and not those fake mem mechanical switches. Regardless, I still believe there is lots of values and great features in this keyboard, such as superior RGB lighting you get for the price. Compared to other sub $100 gaming keyboards, the CK552 easily sports some of the best looking RGB LED lights comparable to those of higher end keyboards like the K70 MK.2. Better yet, you can change that colorful RGB lighting on the fly through the function keys on the keyboard. There's also a sturdy feeling brushed aluminum enclosure wrapped around the keyboard, which gives off a high-end feel and a premium look that is a nice bonus for an $80 gaming keyboard. Now, since we're gearing this keyboard for League of Legends, which is a keyboard intensive game, I like to invest some of the budget in a quality wrist rest. That's why I chose the $15 Cooler Master WR530. This guy is plush, comfortable, and so good on the wrist that I honestly wish I had one of these for my own personal setup. It's got a stealthy look that won't draw too much attention, but it will add to the overall aesthetic 
of this setup. All in all, this affordable keyboard and wrist rest setup for $95 is definitely worth it and will allow you to game on League for as long as you like. Next, let's talk about the monitor because this is a very interesting choice for $90. Here I have the HP 22CWA. I really like this monitor due to its low price tag and unique design. In terms of specs and how you can improve your League of Legends performance with it, this monitor is 21.5 inches big, sports the only IPS panel I could find for a sub $100 monitor and has a 60 hertz refresh rate. More or less, this monitor is cheap, looks sexy, and is very inexpensive. For League of Legends, you don't necessarily need the fastest monitor on the market since the overall pace of the game is slow when compared to a first person shooter game like CSGO or Battlefield. So to save costs, I chose the 22 CWA. Moving on to the mouse, I wanted to ensure that I chose something that would just, you know, not only be excellent just for on League, but also for other PC games you might delve into later on in the future, especially in the FPS genre. But since this setup is based on League, we don't really need the craziest mouse on the market, although I at least want to provide something that will give rock solid performance for the dollar. And that's where the $30 Corsair Harpoon comes in. Anytime I have a friend who asks me, Mark, what's the best gaming mouse for $30 or less? I always recommend them the Corsair Harpoon because after reviewing it and using it for a large majority of 2017, it's honestly just a damn good performing mouse for 30 bucks. It's lightweight, really grippy, and glides so well on any surface that you will not run into any accuracy issues whatsoever, despite the cheaper PMW3320 sensor. Next, let's talk about the headset, the $30 Cooler Master MH320. Communication is key in League of Legends, especially if you're queuing up with a team, so this budget gaming headset from Cooler Master is going to take care of exactly that. The biggest pro I've had so far when using this headset is how ridiculously comfortable it is. Like seriously, if you come across one of those gaming headsets with an automatic adjustable headband like the MH320 or Cougar Immersa Pro, then it's already a guarantee that's gonna be comfortable AF. Sound quality is also decent on this headset because after all, League of Legends doesn't require any crazy 7.1 surround sound to keep you aware of your surroundings. So the sound quality provided to you by this $30 gaming headset through its 3.5mm audio jacks will be enough. However, the one con I will mention about this headset is that the microphone is below average. It's definitely clean enough to communicate with your teammates, but if you wanted to stream with it or produce any videos using that headset, I would look at getting a separate microphone because you'll sound way better on it and more clear. Unless you're going for that Tyler One poopy mic aesthetic. This is a test of the Cooler Master Master Pulse MH320. Before we move on to the PC, I think it'd be appropriate to include the Wi Fi adapter I'm using because technically, this isn't a complete gaming setup without one. Here, I have the Netgear AC1200. If you want to game and stream League with no lag wirelessly, then you're gonna need one of these. I've been using this AC1200 for over a year since I moved into my new apartment, and its speed, reliability, and near zero latency has given, at least for me, my YouTube operations and day-to-day -day gaming definitely worth the $40 price tag that I paid for that device. Finishing out the video, let's talk about the heart of this entire setup, Volt V2. This budget gaming PC costs only $313 and sports the AMD Ryzen 3 2200G quad-core APU processor, an A320 MATX motherboard, 8GB of RAM, and a 500GB hard drive. Now, the great thing about League is that you don't need a whole lot to run the game, and this $300 computer can not only max it out at 74.3 frames per second at high settings, but it'll most likely have the power to stream it quite well on Twitch at those exact same settings. Also, if you were hoping to have the ability to make LOL videos for your YouTube channel or Twitch channel, then you're in luck because this $300 computer 
actually has some decent specifications for basic video editing. That four core Ryzen processor with eight gigabytes of RAM will do a very good job for the price at crunching through edited gameplay videos. Plus, if you wanted to later down the road, you could easily switch to a faster Ryzen chip with six or eight cores and upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM if you needed more power. And that, my fellow summoners, is my complete $600 League of Legends gaming setup for 2018 featuring Volt V2. If you enjoyed this video, then consider giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you like this sort of content, then consider subscribing to the Scatterbolt YouTube channel. And as always, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that. And this is the Scatterbolt channel, signing out.